I'm really super excited today that after a very, very busy day, I finally completed making this slicing on Spring Boot API plus Angular UI. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial. I've broken it down to be very easy for beginners and for intermediates, persons who want to learn programming. So this is a basic application, but it covers all the ingredients of application development. Now we are going to be building a Spring Boot API, API in Spring Boot, API simply returns data in JSON format. For instance, there is the API returning data right here. So this is built in Spring Boot. Of course, you can get data from anywhere, but for us to have this API we built ourselves, we'll be able to fetch data, post data, update the data, and also delete the data. So we're going to build an API in Spring Boot. API simply means Application Programmer's Interface. And then we are going to build the UI using Angular, uh, Angular 9. So we are going to be learning a number of things. One of them is working with Angular routes, working with Angular components, making HTTP GET requests to an endpoint, and also making HTTP POSTS requests to insert data in, in a server. Also making a HTTP put and delete request. We are going to see how to get data and also display it in an, in an Angular table. I'm going to show you an example. And this is what we are going to be building. You're also going to be learning about Angular material. Angular material is simply used to display a beautiful UI uh, component on the page. We are going to be learning about font awesome. Sorry about this. We're also going to be learning about Angular um, template-driven forms and also be learning about reactive forms as well. Um, let me just also show you. So in this case, we have we have the details, we have uh, edits. We can also add a new item as well uh, from here and save. Now the important thing about this lesson is that we are, we have all the all the steps are right here uh, on my channel. Okay. So if you miss out something, you can always check and go down to the one to where you you stop and start from there. Now, if you scroll down, you will see that we have all the lists of the 11, 11 modules of this course. So they are well laid out in case there is a particular place you are having problem. For instance, if you look at this place, you'll see that we have edit method with reactive forms. You learn something about reactive forms versus template driven forms. Another thing about this course is that we have the procedures and the source code uh, here in my website. All the step-by-step -step you need to follow is right here in my website. So you can actually be following the procedure and also augmenting it with the video as well. But I recommend you don't copy and paste. Simply follow the instruction and type out the code by yourself. And one thing I can also recommend is you subscribe to my channel. Don't rush this course, simply subscribe uh, to my channel. Leave me a comment if you have any challenges following the procedure because I'm going to help you solve this pro uh, uh, um, problem and then you move on. Along the line, there are a few exercises and I also give to my subscribers so that you kind of build up your skills of debugging and programming. So feel free to subscribe. Uh, even the screenshots are right here on my website. So you can always uh, have all the steps here in my website. If you also go to the to the lesson, you can see if you go look at step by step here, you can see here it says procedure plus for the source code. It takes you directly to the website I just opened where you have all the steps and the source code you need to follow. If you want this complete application, it is also there in my repository in GitHub. So feel free to go there, download it, and also use it to play around. Application development is really very interesting, a bit challenging, but it's really very interesting. So don't give up, let's do this together. I also created a group I called International Computer Programmers. This is a group, a community of programmers I'm building up so that we can learn together, uh, we can improve our skills in programming. So please uh, subscribe and join this group as well so that we can do this together. If this has been informative for you, let me know this you know, your comments can, I can actually motivate me to continue doing this because I actually don't get paid for this. And finally, if you want to support me in any way, because this is what I do, uh, please uh, buy me a coffee from Buy Me A Coffee. And also you can support me through Patreon, uh, the crowdfunding website. 
can always support me in any of these ways. So let's move on to the first part. The first part will start with Spring Boot to build the API using H2 database. We also, um, uh, yeah, H2 is an in-memory database, so we got we are going to be using this, and then we are going to move to Angular UI. So I'm going to stop here. I remain kind to the Tech Pro. Remember, I'm always there for you. I'm always there to support you. So let me know if you have challenges whatsoever, and I'm going to respond as soon as possible.